Hey, everybody, I'm Dan. And I'm Mike, and this is 60 Seconds with Dan and Mike of the Corvallis Knights. Welcome to another episode of 60 Seconds with Dan and Mike. Good to see you, Dan. Good to be seen, Gitz. Excited to hear about our latest special guest. What do you got Dan, for us, Gitzy? Dan, this might be my favorite guest so far. He's a he's a former coach of the Portland Lobos. He's a alumni of the Corvallis Knights. Uh, he was a coach of the Corvallis Knights. He is the pride of Oregon City. He is the head baseball coach at University of Portland. Jeff Loomis. Very cool. Good to see you, Loomy. Hi, Dan. Hi, Mike. Hey, hi, Loomy. Good to see you, buddy. Thanks for joining us today. Yep, for sure. Absolutely. Hey, Lumi, are you ready to do this? We're gonna. Are you ready for sixty seconds with Dan and Mike? All right, let's put sixty seconds into, but I'm ready to do it. Be careful. Let's put sixty seconds on the clock, Lumi. Old Dan or new Dan? (laughs) I like the fiery old Dan a little bit. You know, I mean, Dan and I used to spend a lot of time in rental vans driving all over the West Coast uh, with the with the nights. So uh, I got to see fiery Dan a lot in those on those car rides. And okay, Louie, I got to cut you off. Uh, me, me too. <laughs> there's, there's, some, there's some strange ones, Mike. Yeah. <laughs> so Lumi, pilot dog or Dodger dog? Pilot dog all the way. Okay. Cam loops or Kelowna? Mm, Cam loops. Okay. Hey, wrapping it up, Lumi, in a few words, describe the following. Joe Etzel. Uh, University of Portland baseball icon. Twilight Room. T-Burger. <laughs> Dale Stebbins. The Doc. Joe Etzel Field. Uh, renovated and looking really good. West Coast Conference. Deep uh, and, and uh, well-respected conference. Nice awesome. work, Loomis. Very well done. Thanks, yeah, thanks, Loomis. Uh, you guys are coming off a, a nice mm. sweep of Utah Valley. You're playing... Uh, the legend Brian Hux, alma mater Pacific this weekend. Can you tell us a little bit about the upcoming series? Yeah, Pacific's got a good squad, good squad. So um, when looking at their numbers yesterday, um, fielding at a very high rate, they're fielding over 980. So we know they're going to play great defense uh, and uh, looks like uh, batting average in the 270 range, which is really respectable at this level. So uh, we're expecting uh, to go in there and and have to play really good baseball to, to win the series. Cool. Thanks for all the insight, Lumi. Uh, my questions are loaded. What was it like coaching Mike Gitz? And tell us a little bit about that incredible yeah. 2001 Knights team that you coached and it, and Gitz as a closer. Okay. Yeah. I, I, you know, Gitz uh, as a closer, that almost happened by default. Uh, that's probably our best closer option that year would have been Brian Huck. Um, but I had to use Brian to start games a lot of times. And so I couldn't go to, I had to go back a little bit and and look for a different arm angle type kid and somebody who I really desperately wanted off the bench. Uh, Cause coaching, coaching Mike gets, um, he uh, was antsy. He, he didn't do well uh, sitting on the bench. He's a kid you had to have out there on the field. Uh, just for your sanity. So uh, probably by default, Mike won that job. Uh, Mike uh, turned that, that opportunity into probably the greatest closer in Knights history. So uh, good for Mike on that one. Uh, I still would have liked to have seen old Brian Huck out there every once in a while, though. I think he had uh, the arm talent to do it as well. Yeah, Gitz put up some big numbers. Uh, 17 saves, 17 for 17. I don't think anyone will ever touch those numbers, Jeff. Uh, so speaking of that 2001 team, I mean, we, we've we always looked at that team as the team, the best in Knights history. But, you know, that 2019 team with Jay Colcroft and and Briley Knight and, and uh, Brooks Lee, that was that that team was pretty loaded as well. What 
What do you got on that, Lumi? 2001 or 2019? Well, I have to say 2001. Yeah. Uh, you know, <laughs> yeah. We, I think we finished 54 and 14 or yep. some, some number like that. Mike uh, had a ton of saves that year. Uh, maybe 17, 20 saves, something like that. Yep, that 17. Close? Yeah, I mean, uh, so we had we had great front end pitching uh, that year. We we had uh, Mike on the back end uh, closing every single game out. We had um, some some real special talent with that group. When you play 68 games in the summer and you win 54 of them. Uh, it's tough to argue that that, that doesn't go down as uh, at least in my experience, you know. And 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 uh, looking at at. Uh, uh, what you guys had there in 2019, uh, man, there's some real, real talent running through the organization right now too. And, and some of those guys are Portland pilots. So, um, you know, I think every year it just gets a little bit better and, and uh, good for the Knights. You know, I mean, we've had a long, it's been a long, uh, a, a, a lot of years of success, 20 years of success. So, yeah. Well, you look at the pilots on those teams, you know, 2019, you had, you know, Trace Tamaro, Briley Knight, Jay Colcroft, Connor Knudsen. And then in 2001, guys like Travis Hansen and uh, Matt Allen, yeah. uh, Mike Matt Stewart, Allen. Jeff Loomis. I mean, you had some, uh, you know, incredible talent. So it's been a lot of fun. Well, anyway, very cool. Thank you, Jeff. We appreciate your time, man. And we wish you the best the rest of the season and down at, at Pacific. Uh, any parting words, Gitsy? Thanks for joining us, Jeff, and thanks for the very kind words. <laughs> <laughs> it was awesome, man. Thank you. Thank you, Jeff. Have a great weekend. Hey. Yeah, thanks, guys. It was fun. Thanks. Awesome. Sweeter swing. Sweeter swing. Joe Gerber or Jay Colcroft? Oh. Goodness, that's tough already, Mike. You should start me off with a softer one than that. Um, who I would say uh, sweeter swing, just in terms of, of overall the way it looks. Joe Gerber had one of the best left-handed swings that you could ever <laughs> imagine. I will say that uh, Jake Holcroft, uh, his his swing is super simple and it develops a lot of power out of out of that swing. So. Um, both real similar in, in their approach there um, and both really sweet swings.